Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, my name is Masood. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, just a very quick video today. I just wanted to answer a question um, that I normally get as well. Is how much uh, anatomy and physiology should I revise prior to the course or before actually getting on? So, before actually coming on to the course, um, you don't actually have to do anything. Um, but if you really want to give yourself a, a head start amongst the everyone else and amongst everyone else in your um, in your group, in your cohort, then uh, learning the muscles uh, would be enough. But in terms of anatomy and physiology, if you can, in your first year, I know that there's a there's more emphasis on building a foundational sort of knowledge in terms of your anatomy. And so if you can, before you come onto the course, if you know the muscles, origins, insertions, the nerves, and what actions each muscle does, that's gonna put you way ahead of everyone else. And um, you know, it's something that uh, if I had a chance to go back and do, I would. But um, at the same time, I wouldn't get too bogged down on it because whilst you're on the course, you're going to be doing plenty, plenty of revision. And I don't, there's no emphasis, there's no exaggeration there. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of studying uh, in terms of anatomy. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, what I would say is um, enjoy this time. I know you're excited if you're try if you're just applying for physio and you haven't got in or you're you're about to get in you're about to study or any sort of medical degree you're about to study it and you're very excited. Uh, one thing you can do is just learn the muscles, and yeah, just learn the names of the muscles because they're all in Latin and it might come as, as a bit of a shock when you first come onto the course. So just building that a uh, little bit of association and affiliation with the uh, terms can uh, really. Uh, give you some leverage going in, uh, in my opinion anyway. So having said that, um, that's what I think you should do. And yeah, that's really it. Oh, one more tip I wanted to, to actually t uh, share is uh, when revising anatomy, um, there's no shortcut to learning names and, uh, you know, any other sort of uh, medical knowledge. Really, it's just spending time with the literature or content or pictures and really just trying to um, not memorize it but just making it a part of your everyday sort of sort of life. Uh, some people like to get uh, anatomy coloring books uh, or, or flashcards. I, I got flashcards because I could just literally uh, pick them out when I'm bored, when I'm in my room, uh, have them on my desk and I just take a, take a bunch of them and just look at them uh, and then uh, I'll try and memorize what it said, which muscle it is, um, you know the actions the attachments and then i'll just say it out loud to myself uh just speaking out loud uh, this worked for me uh some also uh writing uh down all of the muscles like a spider diagram on a piece of paper um you know doing these sort of revision uh tactics you know in terms of re revision tactics you just have to find whatever works for you really um i'm not i'm not the expert to be honest uh, i know different people have different learning styles um but yeah, um, hope you yeah hope you basically uh, got an idea of what to expect in terms of how much uh, anatomy and physiology to to learn before the course. Uh, ultimately, um, you don't really have to, as I said, but uh, it would be it would be good if you did. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.